Ladies and gents, my name is Brandon Stover. Welcome to the How to Solve Climate Change course from Plato University. Causes, systems, obstacles, solutions to this global challenge is what you're going to learn here today. When you're ready to learn more skills, join us for free at Plato.University. Let's get started with today's lesson. Explain succinctly what a green premium is from first principles. The green premium refers to the additional cost associated with choosing environmentally sustainable or low-carbon alternatives over conventional, more carbon-intensive options. In the context of climate change, it means that technologies, products, or practices that have lower greenhouse gas emissions or are more environmentally friendly may come at a higher price compared to their less sustainable counterparts. Why does the green premium impede us from creating solutions or overcoming climate change? The green premium can impede progress in overcoming climate change for several reasons. One reason is economic barriers. Higher costs for environmentally friendly alternatives can deter individuals, businesses, and governments from adopting sustainable practices or technologies. This can slow down the transition to a low-carbon economy. Another reason is market competitiveness. The green premium can hinder the competitiveness of sustainable products and technologies making them less attractive to consumers compared to cheaper, carbon-intensive alternatives. The green premium can create inequality and access problems. The higher costs associated with sustainable options can disproportionately affect low-income communities, limiting their access to green technologies and exacerbating social and environmental inequalities. Finally, it can drive technological lock-in. If sustainable technologies face a green premium, it may slow down their adoption and innovation, leading to continued reliance on carbon-intensive technologies and systems. Why is the green premium important to address? What's at stake if we don't address this obstacle? Addressing the green premium is crucial for several reasons. The most obvious is reaching our climate goals. To achieve global climate goals, widespread adoption of low-carbon technologies and practices is essential. The green premium can hinder progress toward decarbonization. We must also address it for sustainable development. Green solutions are often aligned with broader sustainability objectives, such as cleaner air, reduced pollution, and improved public health. Failure to address the green premium may hinder efforts to achieve these benefits. Maybe not as obvious, but global cooperation is an reason. Many countries and regions are working together to combat climate change. The green premium can create disparities in costs and incentives, making international cooperation on climate action more challenging. Most importantly, we must overcome the green premium for innovation and economic growth to occur. Overcoming the green premium can drive innovation and investment in green technologies, leading to economic growth and job creation in the clean energy and sustainable sectors. How might we mitigate or eliminate the obstacle of the green premium for climate change solutions? Mitigating or eliminating the green premium requires a combination of policy measures, technological advancements, and societal shifts. First, think about incentives and subsidies. Governments can provide financial incentives, tax breaks, or subsidies to reduce the cost difference between sustainable and carbon-intensive options, making green solutions more economically attractive. We must also tackle regulations and standards. Setting stringent environmental regulations and standards can create a level playing field, encouraging businesses to invest in greener alternatives. Proper innovation always requires research and development, Investing in research and development can drive technological advancements, leading to cost reductions and increased efficiency for green technologies. What we are doing now also helps. That is public awareness and education, raising awareness about the importance of sustainability. And the benefits of green alternatives can drive consumer demand, encouraging businesses to invest in sustainable practices. Right now, you're speaking to passionate students who want to actually solve problems like these. What top three skills should they study so that they actually have the ability to do so? Passionate students seeking to address the green premium should focus on developing the following skills. Learn economics and policy analysis. Understand the economic factors influencing the green premium, including cost-benefit analysis and policy evaluation to propose effective measures to reduce barriers. Next, undertake some technological expertise. Gain knowledge of renewable energy technologies, energy efficiency, and sustainable practices to contribute to the development and deployment of low-carbon solutions. Maybe not as obvious, but gain skills in advocacy and communication. Develop effective communication and advocacy skills to raise awareness, engage stakeholders, and promote the adoption of sustainable practices and policies. 
to see the green premium with your own eyes, research a product or technology with a well-defined green premium, such as the premium on electric vehicles versus conventional vehicles, compare the costs and benefits of the more environmentally friendly option, reflect on the factors contributing to the green premium and its implications for consumer choices. Thank you for taking the How to Solve Climate Change course. If you want to learn the skills to solve this global challenge, join us for free at Plato.University for exclusive content, extra resources, and actionable exercises with every lesson. This course was produced by Plato University, where students turn passions into purpose and learn skills to change the world. Learn more at Plato.University.